Today, I'm going to show you a crazy loophole with GPT-01, which is a brand new model from OpenAI that you could have never done before. And I'm surprised no one else has shown this on YouTube. It's absolutely mind blowing. I couldn't believe it actually worked. I tested it on the old model versus the new version. You absolutely couldn't do it before. Now you can. And this is an amazing SEO workflow that you could probably apply to anything in your business to save you a lot of time. And I'm going to show you something crazy that it unlocks. Now, this is not clickbait, so let me get straight into this and show you exactly what I'm talking about, people. So essentially, every single video that I create basically has a workflow and an SAP assigned to it, right? So for example, if I do a video about Claude, I'm going to break it down into step-by-step -step processes that you can easily steal from me. And then I create these nice little workflows. Now, previously with ChatGPT or Claude or whatever, you have to put in a prompt, then you have to put in another prompt, then you have to put in another prompt, right? That was just the way ChatGPT and AI models worked previously. As an example of that, if I tried to plug in a whole SP inside ChatGPT or ChatGPT 4.0, you would get something that looks like this in the results, right? So you plug in the whole SP and it just can't handle it, right? It's just going to repeat back to you what the SP is. It's not going to do the work for you. It's not going to implement it like you hoped it would. Now let's yeah. switch to the new model of GPT, which is GPT-01. We're going to use a mini version just to show you how fast and easy this is. And if we take the exact same workflow, the exact same prompt for it, so from step one, and this was a previous separate prompt, and so was this, and we're going to take this, and now we're going to plug it into GPT-01 mini, and we're basically going to get its new chain of thought feature directly inside ChatGPT to implement every single step of this workflow in one single click, which means that you save a lot of time. Let me show you a new example. So we're gonna take this whole recipe as you can see right here. And I'm gonna say, do this for my SEO training website, right? And then it's got step one, step two, step three, etc. And hopefully using the chain of thought, I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's have a look, it's thinking about it. It's cherry picking the niches, it's finding the LSIs, etc. And it has actually implemented the whole step-by-step SAP from start to finish, as you can see right here. So it's done the keyword research in step one, which is great. It's created the content outline, as you can see right here, and it's selected the keyword with the word count on the whole outline. Now this is one single prompt, remember. We didn't have to go back and forth, we just used the chain of thought process inside ChatGPT, and then it created the content. Now let's fine tune this even more. So I'm gonna remove one step from the process, which is this one here, and we're gonna go back up to the top of the SP, and say, do this for my SEO training website. Again, it is thinking about the process and it's just running through everything, right? So it's researching the keywords, creating the content outline, and then it's figuring out, okay, how do I write this? And so it's done the keyword research here, as you can see, it's found the long tail and the primary keywords, etc. Now it's done the content outline and selected the keywords. So it's taken the keyword SEO training courses online, and then it's created the content right there along with the FAQs and everything else, right? And so something that was a three-step process has just become a, a one-step process because ChatGPT now has a chain of thought and it can analyze the process better. Now, again, this cannot be done with ChatGPT4. So this is not some clickbait hype. This is genuinely, you could never do it before. It is a brand new feature. And just as another example of that, if we use ChatGPT 4.0, I've said do this for my SEO training website, which is literally the exact same prompt. And we can compare them side by side, ChatGPT 4.0 versus GPT-01. So exactly the same prompt, GPT 4.0 over here and GPT-01 mini on the right hand side here. Exactly the same prompt. Let's look at the outputs. So if we scroll down to keywords, you can see that GPT 4.0 just literally talks through the process but doesn't do the work for me. O1 Mini actually does the keyword research and implements a whole SAP step by step. And it probably implements it faster and quicker than actually having a team member do it for me. So if I gave that to a virtual assistant, would they be able to do that in 10 seconds? Absolutely not. Can GPT O1 Mini do it in 10 seconds? Absolutely. Now if we look on the left hand side, if we look at chat GPT 4.0, you can see even GPT-40 cannot do that. Again, if we scroll to the content outline, because it totally messed up step one, it's not going to do step two. Whereas if we look at GPT-01 mini on the right hand side over here, you can see that GPT-01 actually does the content outline. And because chat GPT-40 made a total mess, 
doesn't just repeats the guidelines for me. Thanks for that, mate. Not very useful at all there. You might as well tell me content is king next. Whereas if you look on the right hand side with GPT-40 Mini, you can see that it actually generates the content from start to finish. And it's already planned it in step one and step two based on the keyword that we wanted to do, right? And so if you're sat there wondering what's the difference between these two models, I would say the difference is mind blowing if you understand the GPT-01 Mini can actually handle full workflows. It's almost like having a team of agents working together. And why is that? It's because if we scroll back up here to the response from ChatGPT, you can see that it actually starts thinking and planning the process ahead, right? Now, even though the writing capability of ChatGPT might not be that better for GPT-01 versus ChatGPT-4 or other previous models, as so you can see here inside the benchmarks of OpenAI's GPT-01 model versus GPT-4. So GPT-4 is in red and the O1 improvement is in green. You can see that when it comes to English language, pretty much the same, right? 58 and 58, which means that the writing itself is not better because it can handle more complex workflows and because it can have that chain of thought process, which st means step by step, it can actually implement a full SAP, almost like handing it to different team members in your AI team. You can create something mind blowing. You can implement full SAPs and no one is talking about that, but it's absolutely amazing. Here's another example, right? So this is a perplexity SAP that I did previously. And it's a very similar workflow. So it picks the keywords, does the outline and does the content generation. And instead of pasting those previously in separate steps, GPT-01 mini can just handle the whole process, right? Does the keyword research. You want outline, boom, there you go. You want the actual content generated for you in one single go, here you go, right? Now, obviously that, ed that content itself would require editing. But the fact that you can automate full workflows in one click that you could never do before, as I've shown you, is absolutely amazing. Now let's try something else. I don't know if this is going to work, but I just want to have a look, right? I'm going to have a, I'm going to test the waters and see how far ChatGPT can take it. So if we switch to GPT-01 preview, we'll grab the content from my checklist and I'm going to say, now edit my content using the checklist below. Right? And that is a really complex checklist like normally i wouldn't give a gpt everything step by step like that because it's very in-depth when it comes to editing the content to improve it and you can see it's taking quite a long time for gpto to work through it it's got a lot of steps in the chain as you can see right here so let's see what it comes back with it might just break but let's compare the content before and after inserting the checklist so this is the output before the checklist was inserted and we can compare it side by side to see how it performs so if we look, for example, it's reformatted the heading. So there's actually a H1 versus the H2 previously, which didn't make sense at the top of an article. Additionally, it's rewritten the content. So for example, before it was using like really generic fluffy words, like, are you looking to elevate your digital marketing skills? Now it's rewritten that to ever thought about mastering SEO, ever thought about how mastering SEO could transform your business in Singapore. It's still not perfect, but you can see how it's used the checklist to improve it. It's also rewritten the content to make it more interesting. It looks like it's actually reformatted parts. And you can see that it's actually simplified the language inside the second article so that the FAQs read better, right? So for example, do I need pri any prior experience to enroll in SEO training in Singapore, which doesn't really feel that natural versus do I need experience to start? Not, beginners co not beginner courses are for everyone, right? It's just rewritten the content, simplified it, and made it a lot better in terms of actually giving value in a less fluffy AI generated way. Do I think that's perfect? No, I, I still think that you need the SEO checklist to improve your content, but it is dramatically better than it was previously and it can handle more complex prompts. So thanks so much for watching. If you want access to all the prompts that I've talked about today, feel free to get them links in the comments and description. For example, you can see all my prompts on keyword research workflows there. You could use inside ChatGPT SEO link building workflows, SEO quality control sections, including the checklist I mentioned today, topical map features, SEO systems, etc. There's so much value in that course that if you don't have it already, you're absolutely missing out. Like everything you could ever think of and more when it comes to AI SEO is inside this course. So if you want more least traffic sales, feel free to check that out. Link in the comments and description to the free SEO course. And if you want to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. We will show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 this month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. And we'll give you a free SEO domination plan that's custom tailored to your website. You'll discover the secrets of link building 
will answer any questions that you have one to one on that call. You also learn the best link building sheets for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors with link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to book that in, links in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. As you can see, GPT-01 is mind blowing. It can handle much more complex prompts. It can basically automate any workflow and implement any sort of SAP from start to finish probably better than most team members that I know could. It can do it much faster than any human I know, and it can actually do it better than any other AI model that I know. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.